Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil and TireRack.com. Well, now that we've seen our Maxton and we understand that it's been sitting for the last 20, 25 years and with no use and no preparation before it was put in storage, well, we need to evaluate it. So far, what we've done is we've looked at the fuel lines and things like that. If you look at the fuel, we ran this coat hanger down into uh, the, one of the fuel lines and it come out with this thick sludge. That's what happens to fuel after it sits. We can actually see it in this fuel line. You see it just kind of strings out of there. No gasoline left. So we replaced the fuel line, got the car running. So it runs, but not well. It probably needs carburetor work. In addition, in order to move it, the brakes had seized up. So we had to take the pads out of the rear brakes. And now we have to find out all that's wrong back there. The clutch, well, the clutch, you can't push the pedal. So that means in most cases that the clutch disc has welded itself to the, uh, the flywheel or the pressure plate. So, and probably both in this case. So we have to find a way to fix that. Now, in addition to that, we took the air cleaner housing apart, and this is what we found. The air cleaner had turned to this uh, yucky looking mess here. And we also have a situation with there's a rag that's tied around a, uh, a line up in the front at the oil cooler. Well, it appears that the oil cooler is leaking significantly, so we're going to have to fix that. And once we get all done with it, we'll get our Maxton back on the road. And if you have a question or a comment, drop me a line right here at Motor Week. <laughs>